With most launches, we get excited about the hardware changes each generation brings. Does it have a new camera? Does it have better, a better processor, more RAM, a higher capacity battery? But the one thing that generally gets overlooked is the software. And hey, I'm guilty too. There's not a lot for me to talk about with regards to MIUI. We've seen it on a lot of phones. MIUI 12.5 is something we are very familiar with, so I'm not gonna dig into it. Well, it's Realme UI, what can you say? It's got all the same pros and cons of Realme UI that we've seen in the past. It's MIUI 12.5 built on top of Android 11, and we've beaten this to death. So I'm not gonna bore you with MIUI details again. Now, that's partly due to there really not being much to talk about with each launch, but, 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 that is not the case today. Today we actually have something to talk about. Samsung's brand new One UI 4.0, the one that's built on top of Android 12. Let's go ahead, take a look at all the major changes it brings to the table. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. So let's start with one of the big ones. Okay, you know what? None of these are big ones, but that is actually not a bad thing because you know, instead of building the update around one or two big features, Samsung has packed it chock full of tiny quality of life improvements. And first on the list, hiring the hole punch. Wait, what? Haven't we been seeing this for a long, long time? If that's what you're thinking, oh yes, we are, we have been, but Samsung has added a very nifty tweak to a kind of old feature. You can add a black bar to hide the hole punch as always, but here you get to do it on a per app basis. So that's what's new. And then we have color palette, an option to tweak your entire interface based on the wallpaper that you've actually selected. Cool, right? See this, select one of these color palette options. And now this is the wallpaper. You see how the first party apps and UI elements change color to match it. And now let's change the wallpaper and boom, the entire experience, it just gets fresher. Do know that this works only with first party apps, at least for now, maybe with uh, increased One UI 4.0 adoption, more third party devs might get on board. Okay, moving on, the quick settings panel has the same compact notifications from last time, but jump into settings and you notice a change with the scrolling animation. When it hits the top or the end, there is a nice little bounce effect, very pixel-esque. Talking about the pixel, the pinch to zoom gesture for resizing picture in picture from the pixel, it's present here too. Additionally, for multitasking, Samsung allows us to pin windows. Okay, you guys know how Realme is dark charge or one plus watt charge. With that, you get a cool animation to indicate super fast 50 watt plus charging. Well, Samsung has also added 50 plus watt charging speeds. Okay, they haven't. But what they've added is a similar charging animation. Now, all they need to do is offer higher charge speeds on upcoming phones and we will be golden. Now, sarcasm aside, let's take a look at some of the apps. Weather has a fresh coat of paint. It's got some nice animations and more importantly, no more ads on here. I like how the color changes as you scroll. This goes white or black depending on the time of the day. That is also something we get with the clock widget. Beat it up, we now get six different clock styles to choose from. There's even a dual clock option which could have different colors based on the time of the day, uh, depending on you know the time zone, what's the time in each chosen city. Now talking about widgets, I really like what they've done with the new widgets page. It just feels a lot more organized. It's a scrolling menu with the widgets not just randomly thrown in, but instead they are grouped on a per app basis. So now when you run into that one app, which has a truckload of widget options, it's not gonna, you know, clutter everything up. Beat it up, you see how the icons here are dimmer. Now that's another change with dark mode, the icons and even the wallpaper get dimmed. Like most things on this list, this is a small change, but one I do appreciate, you know, because of all the attention to detail that they've shown. With the lock screen, double tapping the time gives you access to the calendar. The controls for music have also gotten a little customized. Like for example, here with YouTube music, you have the access to like or dislike. And I am gonna use that as a segue to ask you guys to hit that like, subscribe buttons and turn on notifications at that bell icon. Now, shameless self-promotion apart, let's talk camera. The UI seems a little cleaner, especially the pro mode. The headline One UI feature, single take, also gets a small buff with an option to add five extra seconds to the shot when you're shooting. Pretty nifty. And if you wanna know more about single take, don't worry. We already have a video on that. Here's a card to it. Go ahead, check it out. Stories and memories in the gallery app show a video preview. This is just a glorified slideshow with music added to it. 
And there are more sorting out options now. You can sort by short type as and have all single takes grouped together, all portraits together and so on. There are some minor changes like the option to add emojis to photos and use videos in a collage. Now moving on to privacy, the big one over here is the option to switch to an approximate location. Now if you don't want to share your precise location with an app, but you still need the app and, it, and the app needs location access, uh, you can actually choose to share an approximate location. There are other small quality of life improvements like the new labs option that at this time has only one feature, the ability to add multi-window support uh, to any third-party app like Netflix, and the new device care that lets you limit max charge to 85% to help minimize battery degradation. This is similar to what we've been seeing on ROG devices. I also like how the keyboard has Grammarly integration. So now you don't just get spelling errors corrected, but also grammatical errors. Then there's an option to club two emojis together and send, and yes, that is a thing. And no, I am not gonna talk about it anymore. There are several other smaller features like the redesigned files app and the addition uh, of a dim toggle that takes the brightness down to the lowest setting with just a single tap. Okay, I almost forgot this is an Android 12 feature that Samsung's incorporated. Uh, when the camera or the mic is on, there is a little bit of a notification to the top. Uh, so you know when you know, you're being recorded uh, via video or audio. So as long as uh, the mic's picking something up or the camera is being accessed by an app, you're gonna see this notification. This is uh, a privacy related uh, thing that we've seen with Android 12. Sometimes Samsung tends to not adopt these, but here they've gone ahead and done that. Now, before we roll credits on this video, I'd like to point out that for the time being, at least this is still in beta. So Samsung's S21 line of phones are the only ones that get the update for now. This is also region locked and may not be available where you live. Uh, it's available in places like uh, India, US, UK, China, to name a few. Uh, having said that, we found this update to be quite stable in a short time with it. Maybe battery life takes a little bit more of a hit, but I'd say it should be cool enough to daily drive if, you, if it's an option for you. Uh, now, if you guys feel I missed out on any other major update uh, and many, any other major feature from One UI 4.0, please let me know in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this quick little video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, drop this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And now, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for your time. My name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.